Uh, and it is an anniversary of a violent terrorist attack on the Capitol where we saw the men and women of law enforcement demonstrate incredible courage. You never use words carelessly, um, and yet you called this a terror attack when by no definition was it a terror attack. That's a lie. You told that lie on purpose, and I'm wondering why you did. Well, Tucker, thank you for having me on. When you aired your episode last night, I, I sent you a text shortly thereafter and said, listen, I'd like to go on because the way I phrased things yesterday, it, it was sloppy and, and it was frankly dumb. And, I don't and buy that. Result, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I don't buy that. For, look, I've known you a long time since before you went to the Senate. You were a Supreme Court contender. You take words as seriously as any man who's ever served in the Senate. And every word, you repeated that phrase. I do not believe that you used that accidentally. I just don't. Let me tell you what, what I meant to say. What I was referring to are, are the limited number of people who engaged in violent attacks against police officers. Now, I think you and I both agree that if you assault a police officer, you should go to jail. That's who I was talking about. And the reason the phrasing was sloppy is I have talked dozens, if not hundreds of times, I've drawn a distinction. I wasn't saying that the thousands of peaceful protesters supporting Donald Trump are somehow terrorists. A lot of people have misunderstood well, that comment. Wait a I second, but even your yeah. way, but hold on, what you just said doesn't make sense. So if somebody assaults a cop, he should be charged and go to jail. I couldn't agree more. We have said that for years. But that person's still not a terrorist. How many people have been charged with terrorism on January so listen, 6th? Like, why'd you not, use that word? You're playing into the other side's characterization that, as Joe Kent just explained, allows them to define an entire population as foreign combatants. And you know that. So why'd you do it? So, so for a decade, I have referred to people who violently assault police officers as terrorists. I've done so over and over and over again. If you look at all the assaults we've seen across the country, I've called that terrorism over and over again. That being said, Tucker, I agree with you. It was a mistake to say that yesterday. And the reason is what you just said which is we've now had a year of Democrats and the media twisting words and trying to say that all of us are terrorists. You work in the Senate. I just, I guess I just don't believe you. And I mean that with respect because I have such respect for your acuity and your precision. And I've seen it on display. I've covered you as a reporter. I know how you speak. And you have sat there for a year and watched people use language to distort the events of that day intentionally insurrection coup and, and it, of course it terrorism was insurrection saying it's an insurrection is a political term it's a lie i've repeatedly denounced it what you aired was a little 15 second snippet but remember while while thousands of people were standing up to defend this country on january 6th at that exact moment i was standing on the senate floor objecting to the election results, demanding that we, we, we impanel an election commission to consider evidence of voter fraud. And I brought together 11 senators to join me in supporting getting to the bottom of that. So of course, it would be ridiculous for me to be saying that the people standing up and protesting to follow the law were somehow terrorists. I was talking about people who commit violence against cops. Yeah, but you're not a terrorist. You know, you're not. You're a guy who, you know guy who assaults a cop. OK, so I, that's there's a there's a there's a legal difference, as you well know, better than I do, since you were actually in the running for the Supreme Court. And there's a moral difference between a guy. So, and, Tucker, you know, the, the, right, the reason I time. use that word is for a decade. I've used that word for people that violently assault cops. I use that word all in 2020 for the Antifa and BLM terrorists that assaulted cops and firebomb police cars. But yeah. I agree it was a mistake to use the word yesterday. Right because the Democrats and the corporate media have so politicized it. Look, I'm the one leading the fight in the Senate against this garbage. And it's what Good. I have been doing and it's what I'll continue doing. Well, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you very much, Senator Ted Absolutely. Cruz of Texas.